did not pan out, did not get a single shot at anything. Everything was too high or too far away. So now I'm out, back out here at Mackay, trying to salvage what's left of the day, and hopefully, maybe I can get a shot at something flying out. I haven't been out here for a few days, so I really don't know their flight pattern, so it's a total crapshoot. Yeah, on the way down, I'll hunt pheasants with BBs and stuff. That's about all I got. But anyway, um, we'll see. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll work out. Never know. Probably nothing there.
turkey track. I'm looking for turkeys too. I don't see any turkey tracks. So. But I always check. Just in case. Whoa. The old snake right there. Look at that. Hey, hello. Uh, I think that's a ball snake. I'm looking for rattles. I don't see. That's a big snake. Yeah. No, no diamonds on this back. Looks like a ball snake. They'll imitate a rattlesnake to get you to leave them alone. That is a big bull snake. I rarely see snakes out here. I think I've seen two in all the time I've hunted here. I don't see any rattles on it. Yeah. Trying to go in that hole. Well, they're not uh, poisonous. They could probably put a nasty little bite on me, but I bet that thing's about four feet long. It's pretty good size. And I'm surprised to see it. Trying to carve out a hole, it looks like. Or it's going after something. Maybe there's a mouse in the hole. Yeah, if it was a rattlesnake, it'd have rattles and it'd have diamonds on its back. It's a bull snake. But, you know, it's big enough it could put a nasty little bite on my hand or wherever it hit. I'm surprised to see one here. I never, I almost never see snakes here. nearly as violent as rattlesnake, but they will bite. Wow. Hmm, let's keep that in mind. Snakes are starting to show up here. I think I saw one snake and one up or something. I think it was down that way further on this side. Here since 1969, when I was 10 years old. So I've been hunting here for 52 years. And I've only seen two. <laughs> so obviously, it's maybe not a problem out here. Okay, so I've got these ITX shells that I made yesterday roll crimp them uh, recipe called for full crimp but I wanted to do some roll crimps and uh, so these will probably have a little bit less velocity but the other ones were rated at uh, 1500 and change so this would be still close to 1500 so that's plenty fast I tips BBs. So I'm going to field test them out here if I get a decent shot at all. And uh, we'll see how they do. Uh, according to my software, they're supposed to penetrate ballistic gel uh, well over two inches at 80 yards. So, I mean, it's a no brainer. If, if I hit the bird, it's going to go in. So. It's not as hard of shot as tungsten, not as hard as steel either. It's, but it's it's harder than lead. It's harder than magnum lead. But it's soft enough. Uh, you can shoot it out of all kinds of old firearms, and you can shoot it through pretty much any choke, and not worry about any problems. So I'm using the Ithaca 10 gauge semi-auto. 
it's full choke so it should do all right uh, it didn't look real pretty on paper when I tested it but there's a lot of shells that don't and they end up performing quite well when it comes to actual hunting so um, we'll see how it does uh, main thing is I've got to get got to get dialed in on on, where, on my lead and everything it, ballistically it's a little different than tungsten it's a little different than steel so it's going to probably shoot slightly different so I've got to get used to that for hearing protection I'm using these Otis ear shields these are designed for shooting and uh, they work quite well they work kind of like a car muffler I mean well the quiet stuff makes it through to your ears but the loud noise kind of gets lost in here gets diverted around and, and doesn't really reach your ears so they're quite effective in protecting your hearing the only thing I don't like about them is they're very fragile these plastic pieces they break easily as you can see I've epoxied this one I've already had problems with it don't know how long that's going to hold up uh, if it doesn't I have other hearing protection with me I have of course those electronic in-ear ones and I also have some in-ear um, impulse noise reduction ones that don't use they're not electronic but they work quite well the only thing about them is they they block 13 decibels without uh, I mean that just putting them in your ears blocks 13 decibels but these don't block quite that much they block a little bit though, everything sounds a little muffled, but you can still hear. So you could, at the shooting range, have a conversation with these on. But what I do with uh, geese is I'll, I'll have them ready, and usually near my ears, and then when they're coming I'll put them on. And, uh, they're not ideal for turkey hunting because turkey hunting I need to hear the faintest sound. So for that I use the electronic ones, there's just no other way really. I definitely prefer any hearing protection as opposed to none. And I definitely advise anyone out there watching, protect your hearing. Because if you don't you will regret it later. And the loud noises, they may not seem like they're hurting your hearing at first. But your hearing goes away in little tiny increments to where you don't really notice it. I mean, you get to be 50, 60 years old, uh, and all of a sudden you're, you're saying, what? And you can't hardly hear anything, and you wonder what happened. So, it happened to my mother. She worked in a noisy work environment, and she did not wear her hearing protection properly. She had it all cockeyed in her ear. Just, you couldn't tell her what to do. That's how she was. And... Uh, that was one of the things she regretted, you know, before she died. She told me two things she regretted. One of them was smoking, and the other one was uh, not wearing proper hearing protection. So, something to think about, uh, you people. In fact, the younger you are, the better it is to start off early. That way, you get to be my year, age, you'll still have really sharp hearing. And I'm starting to hear geese, so they're getting restless. They're getting ready to come out. I just hope they come this direction. There they go, right there. Yep. Go to the right. Okay. If I made my way back over there, I might get a shot. We need to find a group there. I need to see some eggs. Wait. Okay. 
That was ITX shot. So knocked it knocked it down. So we'll see how successful it was. It's down there hiding more than likely. Who knows, it might be dead already. But it looks like it was still alive to me. Shot, but still, come on. Seriously. <clears throat> yeah. Definitely made it to the creek, so there's no getting it. I played this game before, I know how it goes. They win, I lose. TSS. 
You know, if I hit them right, they'll knock them down. And they'll be more likely to stay down. Yeah, so I'm getting closer. That's close. Darn it. Uh, oh, too high. Darn it. <clears throat> Something not. I'll go down there and look around just to make sure. Just for all I know, it could have just keeled over. I was just way over there. Should have been down in the flat. Might be a shark. Yeah, well, yeah. No, come on. Must have missed. There are ways, but still, if I want to hit them, I think something might come down. Well, thus far, I'm not real impressed with ITS yet. Trajectory, but hmm, I know I shot more shells than two. Yeah. Maybe not. Not again. Hmm. Oh, yeah. They're still flying kind of high. I 
would hope maybe I'm not too down. <laughs> didn't see one in the fall, but no such luck. Well, I guess I'm going to go out here and search to make sure that I can't get it. I'm pretty sure it's inaccessible though. Irritating. Another one I can't retrieve. Not one of mine. Hmm. Yeah, that looked very much alive. Oh, I did stun it. Possible it could have been hit in the liver or had a artery nipped, and, uh, in which case it would bleed out and finally die. So I make sure. Well, I looked around, couldn't find it, so evidently it made it all the way in. Who knows if they'll die later? You know, predator will get it. They don't go to waste, but. Uh, it's really irritating. At this point, I'm thinking I probably will never buy ITX shot again. This is the second goose that I've definitely hit that didn't stay down. So, regardless of all the hype about ITX shot, so far I'm not impressed. I'm going to have to see a hell of a lot better results before I change my mind. Well, look at this. Yeah, I placed across this spring. How about that? Looks like someone built it up. Built a rock up. Nice. Nice to know I got a place to cross. Well, I extensively, extensively searched, and there is no goose. So. It got away. Yeah, it might die later, but it was able to live long enough to get away from me. So, thus far, ITX has not impressed me. I know there's a lot of testimonials. Oh yeah, ITX number two has brought these geese down. Well, these are BBs. If BBs won't do it, number two ain't going to do it. So, anyway, uh, unless I see about a 500% increase in the harvest <laughs> with ITS shot, uh, I won't be buying it again. And I wish I would have just bought a two pound sample instead of you know, several pounds of it. I got all this shot that really is like a boat anchor to me. But I will try it again. You know, maybe, maybe it'll work. But thus far, I'm not impressed. Not at all. Uh, during the September season I tried it and I hit a goose and all it did was flinch. This time it knocked it down but it got back up. Uh, you don't want them getting back up and flying away. I actually did better I think back when I was using uh, air gun BBs, steel BBs. I think I was killing more geese than I am with ITX. I might go back to that. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, tons of super shot seems to be pretty good, but uh, it's also expensive. I'm not really sure it's worth it. So, anyway, I'm pretty irritated with the whole deal. Um, I've gotten geese with regular steel at that distance before and killed them dead. So, what possible incentive would there be for me to purchase more? ITX shot. Anyone out there have any comments, please feel free to comment. Uh, maybe you've had experience with it. 